There we go. There you there are. Go. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hi, kids in the background. Hi, <laughs> Hi there. Hi, what adorable kid is. It's always been a dream of mine to be a YouTuber. So here's oh, my chance. Oh, cool. <laughs> It's always been a dream of mine. Right. <laughs> All that. nine years. All nine years. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah. came out wanting to get on YouTube. <laughs> It's it's fantastic oh, right yeah. <laughs> pretty much yes. um my someone sent me a video today a tiktok and it was a baby like maybe i don't know three to six months <laughs> and he was um like crying but it was sort of like a certain particular cry and then mm -hmm. he did it until the dogs started um <laughs> howling with him and like got the dogs all riled up and then as soon as the dogs started answering him he like settled down and got this look in his face like mm-hmm <laughs> like, it was so funny and i thought oh look a baby animal communicator they're just coming yeah. out yeah. <laughs> able to do stuff right exactly oh so cute uh so how's the sound seraphina um i think it's better is it good? It, yeah, it is better. I can hear you a lot better. Okay, great. Yeah. Hi. It's so nice to meet you both. Hi. Yes. Hey, oh, Serafina. Oh. As I talk, the volume keeps going down. It's 769, 68. What is happening? That is so weird. It's, so, it's gone to 65 now. It's muting. It's going to 58. <laughs> <laughs> I can still hear you fine. Maybe yeah, it's I can the hear you going down. No, you sound good. Really? Yeah, the yeah the volume isn't changing. It's really weird. So because so. our last uh through what last three episodes mm -hmm. the volume has the audio for me has been weird. Yeah, the connection's a lot stronger today than it has been and mm -hmm. over the last month. I know you've been kind of battling getting Wi-Fi working right there. And, yeah. Um so I will count us in when we're ready to go. And do you want me to say Diana Driscoll? Sure. This is so exciting. I just can't <laughs> thank you guys enough. I'm sure well, I'm gonna wear out saying thank you but really thank you so much for thinking of me and um am i saying it right is it andrea is uh, it's right? andrea but andrea. everybody says it a little differently so i'm not yeah. pretentious about it you know yeah because yeah, like i think seraphina usually says andrea, andrea. <laughs> and, then, um, <laughs> and then i have friends who say andrea and then i <laughs> <laughs> so I have uh, the full spectrum, but my grandmother exactly. intended it, you know, and my mom intended it to be Andrea. That's how they always pronounced it. Well, that's so, what that's what we'll go for. We'll shoot for that's that. That's what we'll go for. <laughs> All right. So are you ready to go, Serafina? Yes. All right. Yes. And you're ready too. Yes. Um, okay. Then um, welcome back, Meow Podcast viewers, to our global panel discussion meow podcast i'm andrea land your grooving goddess and my co-host is seraphina blackman who is of fraggle eating with seraphina the podcast and also her wonderful tarot channel and much much more um seraphina is in trinidad and then we are both so excited Thank you so much, Diana, for being uh, able to fill in at the last minute. I have a feeling, I feel like we almost need to have like a, a roster for baseball, like the reserve list, because I yeah, think totally. a, people are going to be calling in sick occasionally. So, um, but right <laughs> so happy that you could bump up your date and appear tonight. So this is our friend, Diana Driscoll, and she is a very talented artist who does a lot of of uh, galaxy galactic kind of art that just really appeals to me and also to Serafina and so we wanted to have you on to talk about that thank you for coming Diana thank you so much that means the world to me it really does honestly just even hearing 
that anyone would look twice at it means the world. So <laughs> I can't even thank you enough. Oh, well, no thanks necessary. And we're grateful to you. Uh, so how long have you been painting and, um, you know, been interested in this particular aesthetic? I know you also have a business name on your Instagram. So remind me what that is. Yeah. So right now I'm going by uh, Space Out Studio, which kind of just says it all. You know, right. As we're all trying to ground and that's incredibly important to be super aware of, you know, the earth under us and the people around us and stuff. It's also really important to chase your passions and um, sort of float above that and, you know, go for the goal, you know, shoot for the moon, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, I have been making art my whole life that was always just kind of my thing. And I always took classes and um, I kind of did more multimedia when I was younger. So that would be like, you know, multimedia paintings where it's more of like a collage and even I'll do like beads and stuff like that, like sewing on the canvas. I had a zine that I also brought because I figured the subject matter would appeal to you guys and that kind of thing and then when i had my son you know things changed a lot and that sort of took focus for a long time and then i had in my mind space you know and i really wanted to sort of like you know try it out like try to paint galaxies and stuff and and I just loved it so much. It felt so right that I've just continued to hone that sort of specific modality, if you want to say that, and just kind of ran with it. And then I also will layer words on top of it. And if we, you know, show it on screen or something, then you'll be able to see more what I mean. It's kind of hard to describe, mm -hmm. but I know, mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. you've both probably seen it. So um, words and music and like movies. I'm so incredibly inspired by music. I think that that's the highest form of art. If we could say that, you know, I mean, just think of when you're listening to your favorite song, how it takes you to another place. Mm -hmm. So I like to bring music into my art too. And I've always kind of considered myself musical. Like I really did that in high school and college, but since then I've been more visual, but I like to bring music in um, and I, that usually means like lyrics that really mean a lot to me. And then when you put the lyrics on the canvas, then it serves as whatever the um, sentiment behind those lyrics are or what it means to you can stay with you forever and throughout your day. You don't, don't have to be listening to the song to get that feeling that the song brings you or like that the lyrics bring you. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Yes, yes, it totally makes sense. Sorry, I would, like we were enthralled. So yeah, <laughs> everything you're saying is spectacular. You're doing a beautiful oh job. Um, so uh, let's see. I I know I can give you screen sharing privileges, but I am trying to see. I'm not so great at uh, like doing. Let's see. Just share screen. Uh, multiple participants can share simultaneously. All right, there we go. So um, you can share screen uh, for pictures oh, cool. and you can also, you know, if you want to like pop stuff up as you talk about it and it'll give you the option to do like a window or an image or uh, Oh my gosh, cool. Yeah. Because uh, okay. I know we part of the reason why I asked you and was so excited for you to come on is that one of the great things about us having a YouTube podcast is that it's visual. Yeah. So artists can really show their work. And I love everything you were saying about lyrics and having them, you know, on the canvas and sort of capturing whatever those lyrics mean to you in that song just all the time. I love that yes. idea. Oh, my um, God. Yes. Yeah. Because you know, I'm, I'm a singer songwriter. Um, before I was this grooving goddess person, I was in a band for a very long time. And cool. so lyrics, I mean, from the time I was little, it was like the one thing, you know, that 
always brought me comfort or release if I was sad or happiness or, you know, I got so much from music and lyrics and, uh, you know, I had one of those minds that like I would hear a song once and then I'd know it forever. And um, So I love the idea of capturing it on a canvas like that. Plus with, you know, one of my personal favorite things and I know Serafina loves it too, <laughs> which is galaxies and space and, um, I know for me, I don't want to speak for Serafina, but for me, I look at it and it has like the feeling of home, you know? <laughs> yes, I do know. That's exactly, that's exactly why I've run with it rather than going with, you know, other things I enjoy painting. I certainly like painting other things and I love drawing. I like like realistic drawing and I love it all. Just creating with my hands is just what I like to do. But the space thing, it just feels like so right. It, it feels when I'm painting them, like it's a real place. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I, I hope that like when I share the pictures that, you know, your viewers can sort of see what I mean, because mm -hmm. it's not, I'm not painting based on any pictures. I've certainly seen a lot of pictures of space. I love to like collect National Geographic and just like look at NASA, what Hubble's throwing out and all their various things, but I'm not using that in any way as like a template or something to paint off of. It's really like, let's make something that, and it feels like it's really out there in outer space. I don't know how else to say it. Mm -hmm. I, hope that, I hope that that makes sense, what I'm saying. Like, it, absolutely. It, yeah, it absolutely makes sense. It's, it's more of uh, an intuitive, um, Exactly. Intuitive representation of what is probably a memory, you know, for you, yeah, or you right. may even be just able to see that, you know what I mean? You may be seeing yeah. more remote viewing than you may have even thought about. <laughs> That's because really, when really cool. I when like I that. look at them, I definitely, you know, I, they feel real. And like, I can look at them and know, okay, well, I know this is, but it's like different than our solar system and the Milky Way and everything that we're, we're Keeping familiar with. Our window. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I just, that I love them. so much to me. I cannot even tell you how much that means to me because that's exactly how I feel when I'm making them and when I'm done. I mean, a lot of times when I'm making them and I always joke that I hate them until the, they're done, like <laughs> I hate the strong word and not one I use very often, but it's my own art and I guess I can say it. You know what I mean? It's, I think a lot of artists, whatever, if they're musicians or painters, mm -hmm. writers, I think that we all sort of feel that way. Like, you're just like, what, what is this? But then it comes together and you're like, oh, well, that's what it is, you know? But that yeah. means so much to me because that is how I feel about them. It's like, okay, this feels real. <laughs> this feels like a real place. <laughs> That's amazing. I know um, yeah. Serafina has painted as well. Yes. Um, I, I it's, it's so, we, here at Meow, we really do find uh, our people. <laughs> the people that need to be on here are supposed to be here that find their way wow. here. Uh, this podcast was founded as a place for us to have healing conversations. And every time somebody shows up, something happens. You know what I mean? Oh, and yes. Andrea. <laughs> Andrea. <laughs> <laughs> Andrea sent me your um she sent me your profile um and I was like oh wow like because your work is very similar to my aesthetic wow I love to hear that that's really it, cool it, it it really is and a lot of my earlier work and just over the last just over the last few days I was talking about doing um for one recording for my podcast about my boyfriend who got me into painting. Like he was an artist and he was in art school and I was in nursing school and I'd had a traumatic event and art and painting really got me through my post-traumatic stress disorder. And he was instrumental in doing that. And I've been painting since, and I haven't painted in years, but I was, I was, 
I was Venus retrograding. <laughs> yeah, <Basically>. exactly. <laughs> exactly. I was Venus retrograding, right? <laughs> Going over my past relationships and exploring all the heal, you know, the the trends and and going over you know just bringing stuff up for um validation resolution you know seeing where you are and Moving saying past oh, wow. the patterns. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and it was like i was like okay wow and then i meet this person who has a very similar aesthetic to me when i met this man and i was like wow i really need to start painting again <laughs> So I think wow, that, I need uh, to see your paintings too. You're gonna start. <laughs> you're gonna start seeing my work. <laughs> oh, People good. are gonna start seeing my painting because I think I'm gonna start again. Oh, and good. I can't wait to see it. It's it's just amazing um, because also part of the my services that I offer is finding people's galactic origins. Ooh. Like I find them in space. I find their homes. Ooh. Like, wow. where are you? Oh my and gosh. <laughs> I'm getting chills. I find their <laughs> homes, right? I, 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 I locate where the majority of their consciousness resides. And I have found people who are meteors, nebulas, whole galaxies, you know. Oh um, wow. So it is amazing to find somebody who is actually creating 3D representations of that. Ooh, I have chills. I seriously, that's incredible. That's really cool. I love that so much. Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad we met. And uh, Me too. I can't even tell you. This is like winning is, the lottery for me. <laughs> art, is so, art has been so healing for me. Um, so healing. Yeah, that's exactly why I started doing it because, you know, we all need some, we all need an outlet and we all need several outlets. We need a physical outlet, something to do while we're resting, and then, you know, a creative outlet. So, mm-hmm, right. Mm-hmm. That's a really good point. Yeah, those creative outlets are just so healing. And, and it doesn't necessarily have to be like fine arts or performing arts for anyone out there who's listening saying, well, I'm not a painter or I'm not a, you know, uh, cooking, um, gardening, everything is an art, really. Exactly. I like life is art. You know, Mm -hmm. I know I'm quoting some TV show there, but (laughs) it's true. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, So if you have anything ready, feel free to share whenever you want. And then you can just talk as you're putting it on the screen or if you want to, um, I know you said the zine, so you can hold it up to the webcam and get it uh, in view also, whatever works for you. Because I know everybody's like, well, I want to see this really great art now. <laughs> oh, <that's so> nice. <laughs> right. Show yourself, girl. <laughs> I'm just going to show you on my camera right now. And then okay. I'll take a second to share on the screen um, when you guys are maybe talking or replying. Okay. Yeah. Um Okay, which one do I want to start with? All right, so last night I was watching Stranger Things, and it actually, what, have you guys seen that? Mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. I, I have, figured. yeah. I yeah. figured. <laughs> I did, oh, yeah. I did actually see that. <laughs> <gasps> nice. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Friends don't lie. Oh, I love that. Oh, wow. I really it's a ribbon. Love, yeah, I love this one because you know, we all love Stranger Things, but I think that there is something really cool about Stranger Things where they're bringing a lot of ideas that you would have had to previously dig for on your own. Mm -hmm. They're bringing those ideas right up to the front and they're sort of giving them their shrift, like, you know, the MK Ultra, and that was all real and Mm -hmm. who knows Mm -hmm. what else is out there, you know? And then she says, well, I think Mike says, you know, friends don't lie. And then it becomes something that they talk about in the show more. She's yeah. Sort of up, you know, and I just think that I'm lucky to have incredible friends. And, and that's a good sentiment, I think, to remind yourselves of. And, and also, you know, sometimes art expresses pain. And this mm-hmm. is sort of one of those that's expressing like a deeper idea that, you know, we're hurt sometimes by people and they do lie mm-hmm. to us. And we go on. 
but I really love this one too because it has a cool look to it. So yeah, it really does. It's showing Thank up well you. on the camera Good. too. Good. So you know. I'm glad. I'm glad. And if you want to send us images, send me images afterwards as well. Oh, we'll cool. attach mm -hmm. them with the promos and whatnot so everybody can see. Wonderful. Yeah, I put a, together a little album. So I definitely have uh, pictures I'll throw up on the screen. Great. And then this one says Anti Up. And um, I don't know if you guys listen to Girl Talk. He makes mixes, like mashups of, it's like dance music. But then you probably do know this because it's a really famous song and it's called Anti Up and it's kind of just self-explanatory. We've got mm -hmm. to up and, and um, inspire ourselves to keep going. And that's what this one does, you know, mm -hmm. it inspires you to not give up and to believe in yourself. So that's why, you know, the... I what I like about it is that the words melt. So when you're looking mm -hmm. at it in your home, it's not, you know, it's more like subconscious. It's going to seep mm. into your subconscious, whatever the idea is. And it's not something you have to necessarily be assaulted with every time you walk by. It's pretty. Right, it's pretty. right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I do know what you mean. I mean, I can really see that. I see where, because when you first look at it, like it takes a while when you're yeah. new to it and you're looking mm -hmm. at the photos on your own without you explaining it to even yeah. notice that there are words. At first you're like, oh, look, constellations. And then it takes a little bit for your eyes to really zone in on it. And I love yeah. I love the idea of that. And this isn't no shade to anyone who enjoys these things, but I'm just not the kind of person who, you know, is going to want to see live, laugh, love on my wall every day. <laughs> but... <laughs> This is the anti-live-laugh-love. Exactly. Like but that's like, you know, more subtle and it's there. And um, I'll let you keep going. But real quick before I forget to ask you this question, <laughs> asking for a friend myself. Um, <laughs> uh, do you do commission pieces? Yeah. Like if someone wants to have certain words or lyrics put on there, do you do that? Yes. Thank you so much for asking because... I probably would have forgotten. That's a huge thing that I do. And that's probably one of my favorite things I do because then it's your own and it's, it can be anything. I've made them um, as wedding gifts with the uh, initials and like the date mm -hmm. and those turn out really well. So it could be a phrase. It could be, um, yeah. <laughs> her her manager. Sure, sure. I made him one for Christmas, so he wants to he wants to show that one. Oh, awesome! Okay. Yeah, but I do love doing commissions. Thank you so much for asking. Well, cool. Good to know you do that because I have a feeling yeah. I know our listeners are probably going to be asking our viewers will be asking that as well. That's one of my favorite yes. things to do because then it's really personalized, and you know I love my inspiration comes a lot from the kind of music I love, but that's not mm -hmm. always the music other people love. So I do like to make it clear, like, you know, it can look basically the same, but say whatever you want it to say. So just like this one I made for my sweet son, it says, call me and I'll tell you a joke. Aww. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with Bo Burnham. He's a comedian. Yeah. Yeah. Bo Burnham. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. So his, special that he did you guys probably saw it inside yeah and he has a song where he's like you know if you're ha if you wake up in a house that's full of smoke don't panic call me and i'll tell you a joke so <laughs> i love I that, that yeah a perfect because jay loves bo burnham too so mm -hmm. i thought that would be something he could carry forever and know he can always call me and i'll tell him a joke Oh, that is so beautiful mm -hmm. and a gorgeous painting. And it really Thank does, you. even yeah. with all of those words on there, it just blends in so beautifully and kind of. Oh, thank you so much. Recedes yeah. into the, the space landscape that we're looking at. It's so beautiful. And you still get the idea because once you've read it, now you know what it means. And now you can get that feeling just from looking at it. Mm -hmm. This one, I don't know if you guys are fans of Radiohead. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ooh, okay. Well, I love you both. <laughs> <laughs> and we could have even much more to talk about. <laughs> um, this is from the song Dex Dark. And he's sort of a lot of time. I mean, if you guys are fans, I don't mean to go on and on about it. But, you know, Tom York is an incredible lyricist and a poet. Um, 
He's a genius. We all know this. <laughs> and this one says a 10 ton head made of wet sand. And just like a lot of your lyrics, right? It just really gives you that feeling of um, like eternity. And he's sort of talking about like the Sphinx and it's been here for thousands of years. We don't even know how long it's been here. Let's, let's be real about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, it, it just has that feeling of like eternity and something that lasts forever. And it's a little bit daunting and scary and um, I don't know how else to say it, maybe dark. I don't know. I just love that song so much. And mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. lyric sort of holds a lot of weight for me. It's just kind of, I don't know. When I was a kid, I don't know if you guys experienced this. You probably had similar experiences where you were tapped in as a child, but not aware that that's what was happening. Mm -hmm. And I just remember as a kid being so scared of eternity and infinity. Mm. <laughs> and like crying about it and being very upset that it was something I had to know about as like a seven year old. Aww. <laughs> and now that I look back, I think, well, that's because you're an eternal being and you know, your humanity was wrestling with that, you know? Mm -hmm. And I don't know, it just kind of ties it all together a little bit for me. Like, you know, we're here for a short time, but we're really here for a long time, you know? Mm. Yeah, I feel that. I really feel that um, that comes through with the art. And yes, definitely. I mean, I I was one of those weird. I was just a weird kid <laughs> from the we minute were, right? I came out. But <laughs> but um, I I knew why I felt that way. But I also had those feelings. It would be that's really cool. Um, it was I'm like glad a, that some kids have parents who are more like in touch or you yeah know, or they let you sort of explore it on your own like that's really cool. yeah yeah they they were uh to some degree but not like they didn't quite <sighs> they understood when I would tell them I was homesick and I wanted to go back home and then I didn't feel like I belonged here but mm -hmm. they didn't understand like quite how how I meant that, you know, that I remembered being a star and that I remembered not being in a body and all of those things. Mm -hmm. um, but but that grief, like that that childhood on we <laughs> when you yeah. realize <laughs> that um okay, well I have a really different understanding of what all this is than most people. And so I can imagine that it was it would have been so difficult to just have that feeling and not know why, you know what I mean? Like not have a clear perception of why. Uh. <laughs> yeah. And I just learned to like tamp it down and not, cause we were like Catholic and Oh boy. <laughs> my parents were New Yorkers and like, you know, we, they loved art and music and, and things too. But I mean, it was the early nineties. No one was <laughs> paying much attention to this kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Or, yeah, or yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. On a big, on the bigger scale that it's happening now, I guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Most definitely. Yeah, you are definitely. I, I can. You're such an emotional painter. I could see, like, wow, the yeah. raw emotion that you put in on the canvas. I mean, so the much, one with your Emma. son uh, for his birthday. That was just pure love, and yeah. you know the words and everything and the sentiment behind the words. And I was like, oh, that's what that emotion. Okay, so I get it. Because you just look at the canvas and you just react because there's such raw emotion in the image. Wow, and oh, thank you so much. For, for me, because I, I I didn't know a lot of the, the words or, or yeah. The, um, yeah. the lyrics or where, where they came from, except for the Radiohead one. Um, but I could definitely connect with the emotion that was attached to the to, to the painting. Yes, thank you so much um, for saying that. That's exactly this, what I hope for too, is that it's not, doesn't have to be attached to the band or the song, that they stand alone as a sentiment. And that's how mm -hmm. I choose what lyrics or phrase or like, sometimes I'll even do a movie quote, but it has to make sense by itself. So thank you for uh, saying that. Yeah. No, it like, okay, so... I'm not an art critic, <laughs> I'm not an art critic, but your work is, 
emotive. Thank you so much. I can't tell you how much that means to me. And that's, that's good to hear because that is what happens. I'm mm -hmm. oftentimes letting myself process things as I'm painting and mm -hmm. letting it be a release. Like, like I said, it's an outlet. So it's an right. emotional outlet, a creative outlet. And I just think that that's really important. I've been through a lot the past few years too. Like the past couple of years has been a real nice, um, like slow down. But before that, my son went through chemo and oh just, he's totally healthy now, as you could see at the beginning, like he's incredibly vibrant and healthy. And he was before that too. It's just sort of one of those things that happened, but we did go through six months of chemo, traveling across the state and a couple surgeries. And it, I think that, you know, it took us, it's been maybe two years since then, maybe even almost approaching three years. Obviously the pandemic, it's like all these years are just running together, mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know, it took us a while to sort of get back to normal or not get back to normal, but like find a new normal and work mm -hmm. through everything for him. Obviously there was more to work through, like just health wise, getting back mm -hmm. to being healthy, but, um, mm -hmm. All to say that this art has been such a gift to help me deal with that, you know, when it's my time and then I can just paint and deal with my emotions in like such a healthy way. It's really been a blessing. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 beautiful. It's thank perfect. you so much. Thank <laughs> it's you so perfect. much. Oh, thank you so much. I I, I go ahead. I was just going to say, I live in a small town right now. We're about an hour outside of Chicago. And um, sometimes, you know, it's just me telling myself to keep going. So mm -hmm. to, to hear that someone else likes it and, you know, appreciates that that means just the whole world to me. Thank you so much. You're giving me a reason to go on. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're, you're, people are going to find you. They're going to find your work. Mm -hmm. um, I, Thank you so much. What I what I love about art and artists is that, like, every piece that you they create, it's them. It's a self portrait. Like every yes. art piece yes. is a self portrait, and you see so many different layers and so many different. Um, sides and scenes and moments and pieces of um, just this miraculous being, um, which is why I like, I find it hard to separate one piece from another in my work to like separate them. Yeah, <laughs> because they they when you look at them, they tell so much of um, a period in my life. And when one person has it and the other person has this one. <laughs> and then it feels like it's pieces of me that I'm, you know. No, I do. And then to like, yeah. and you know, it's almost as if you're like exercising <laughs> an aspect of yourself. And, I agree. And, and just, you know, and you, and you end up hating the piece, right? Because you. <laughs> yes, that's you're, so you're, funny. You're just yes. at it. And it's almost <laughs> as if you're like, you're like vomiting. <laughs> okay, so the words may not necessarily be the most pleasant words. But to me, it feels like you're like, <laughs> you're like vomiting all this emotion, right? You're just like checking it all up onto this camera and you hate it. You hate it, you hate it, you hate it. And then just one day you just look at it and say, like, oh my God, that's gorgeous. Yeah, I can't look at it anymore. Turn it around. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that is funny. And so, funny. knowing my, I, I knowing that process, going through that for myself, I have so much respect for artists, especially people who are willing to show their work to other people, because there are people who create great art amazing pieces and they never show it to anybody yeah it's hard right especially these days like i find it hard to put yourself out there because you know how scrutinized every image is just because that's our brain that's how our brains work now so 
it's hard to put yourself out there. Exactly. And, and then you're putting in something that is you because, I mean, yes. let's face it, every art piece is a self-portrait. It doesn't matter yeah. what the subject is. It's a self-portrait. Yes. And then somebody criticizes it and says, oh, well, you know, maybe you could just change this. So, it, I mean, right. isn't that the same for every creative project? Yeah, it depends, you know, sort of. Yeah. In but... singing. Andrea, <laughs> when you're yeah, I was gonna say writing videos. songs can be like that because um, it's a little different. That's like like you. I have tremendous respect for people who paint or do fine arts that takes so long, and like there's such a process to it because. Um, and I know some songwriters also do that like they need that much time with things but most of the people that are pretty prolific and that I've you know known throughout the years or artists that I watch like I've rarely heard anyone say it took me months to finish that song you know what I mean like yeah. music comes through a little differently and so what will yeah. happen is uh, for me it, it, it'll just come in almost all at once or like I'll have like a chorus or a bridge or something come in and then the minute I I get into the mode of okay I'm writing this down and I guess this is turning into a thing and now I'm gonna do a voice note and um, it really just sort of like you're talking about it just vomits out <laughs> <clears throat> but it's a much quicker process but then what happens is once you make it then you're like Oh, maybe I should just change that word. And now I don't know if that sounds right. And like, you know, like, so it's sort of in the after phase. And then yeah, what, writing. like you're saying, once you get it and you're like, yep, this is it. Then, um, there's a good chance that after you've been singing it for a year, you know, or however long in front of people, you're like so tired of it. Yeah. <laughs> That's, one of the things I have compassion for with bands who've been around for decades, you know, and once they get to it's be incredible. in their 50s, 60s, they're like, okay, I'll play the same old stuff that you all want to hear, even though I'm tired of it. Like you develop a, a new love for it again. But Good. during that yeah. in-between phase where you've had maybe like one or two hit albums with a lot of songs that everybody loves right and you're really known for that and then you're trying to continue to create new things and they're like no play old time rock and roll or whatever the heck it is and you're yeah. just like and you know and so the artist is like oh please don't make me please don't make me and yeah. i was in a cover band a lot and so oh, that cool. was really torture oh, like i mean it was gosh. great being in a so cover fun, band but, yeah. but there would be some songs and i said old time rock and roll because that's one of them where like it didn't matter what it was, what venue, what gig, what purpose, there would be like I you <laughs> the band would be like, we no, put it somewhere in the set list. And I'm like, I don't have to <laughs> because somebody is gonna ask us to sing it. And then they'll be all tipsy and really want us to sing it, and we will have already <laughs> sung it, and then I'll have to sing it twice. So oh no, gosh. I'm not putting it on the set list. <laughs> but yeah. for the most part, you know, like you're saying, you learn to um, fall in love with it. I would be the way you're talking about, about not wanting to let go, like let your babies go because they tell a story. I was that way with jewelry making. Um, I'm if if I carve out that time, I will be starting to do a little more of that again because my hands work now. The only reason I stopped was because my hands stopped. Oh, um, I'm sorry. No, Jewelry it's all right. They it's so fun. It's yeah, they're all better thing. now. They're all better oh, now. Good. But um, I would, you know, I did beading. I would use seed beads and really tiny beads and crystals and all kinds of things. And I. I would finish a piece and then it would be for a jewelry show where you're supposed to sell stuff, right? And it would be kind of like, uh, I would be like putting little sold stickers on things just because I didn't want to get rid of them. <laughs> I'd be like, I don't want to sell it. I want to keep it forever and ever. And there's still yeah. a few pieces that I sold to people that I'm like, oh, I hope they're still loving that and taking care of it. <laughs> They're I'm like, they it's like uh, giving away puppies, you know, or something where you always want to know what happened with them. Okay. <laughs>
I do. I think it's cool. It's awesome. Hi, is that Jay? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Jay. <laughs> um, I've I've heard that though about musicians. I just heard uh, Chris Martin from Coldplay saying exactly that. That it, it just comes like, mm -hmm. and, and or most of the album just comes, and then like the filler songs are ones that they have to work more on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I I think that that's so beautiful. You know, everyone is being so divinely inspired to do exactly what they're meant to do, and it's really mm -hmm. pretty miraculous, honestly. Mm -hmm. it, it truly is and your yeah. work is so beautiful uh do you have more to show us yeah. that you want to show us i do yeah this one i love so much um this is actually one of the first ones i would say where i sort of like perfected this technique and i'm sort of glad that no one scooped it up because i love it so much it says aim free and so untrue and this is another one where it's sort of like a solid reminder to, you know, do what you feel is right. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, devil may care what anyone else says. Mm -hmm. You're the one in charge of your own, your own destiny and your own self. And I love the rainbow aspect. I love mm -hmm. rainbow and glitter. And I, I really would like to work more with like glitter and like uh, more multimedia stuff. So stay tuned for that, maybe. Oh, that'd be lovely too. Yeah, I, yeah. I, <laughs> even though glitter can um, be a craft yeah. crafter's nightmare right. sometimes, it's still so beautiful, and I love it's it so too. Beautiful. And I rainbow. Know. And like, the more glitter, the better for me. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> this one I'm wow. so obsessed with. I just love it. This wow. one has more of like a retro feel. I feel like a lot of my art does have like a retro feel. I'm so curious like a to see brand more new art person. Therapina, um, hopefully soon, because maybe that's sort of what you were going for. Or not, I'm not going for it. It's just how my art comes out. You know, it's feel like, like a brand new person. Yeah, feel like a brand new person. And I mean, yeah. what could be a better reminder than than that? You know, that and is an excellent reminder. <laughs> I think that we're like reborn every day. And I mean, science says that, and mm -hmm. obviously the Bible, and like basically everything says that. We're just not aware of it until you become aware of it, and then it's it's a beautiful gift. Like you can renew yourself in any moment, and obviously, no one knows more than I how hard that is, but it is true. Mm -hmm. The more you practice, the easier it becomes to sort of like reset your vibe mm -hmm. and take a moment. And does that make sense? Yes, it makes it makes sense. Everything you're saying is spot oh, on and wonderful. So thank you so much. This one says, "If it haunts you, face it." And oh, and I love how subtle the text yeah, is. It's, it's very subtle on this one, but I think that that's perfect for the sentiment. Mm -hmm, it really is. Yeah, because that's the truth. Like those mm -hmm. things that haunt wow. us tend to be just really yeah. A whisper or like mist and and you don't know how much it's affecting you until you let it go exactly and that's why i made this phrase rather than maybe a more intense phrase that would say the same thing mm -hmm. because this is a gentle reminder that you could see every day and it wouldn't scare you or daunt you it would just remind you that you know and i need that reminder daily if it you know you got to let things go or you got to face them and it's sort of the same thing depending on the situation and i need to be reminded of these things <laughs> personally i think we all has, do has anyone Sorry. ever talked to or, or mentioned that uh they may see images in the the paintings has anybody ever talked about that i feel like to me, maybe, I'm, sorry to cut you off i didn't mean to do that no go ahead um I feel like maybe someone from our group said that if, if anyone, it maybe would have been like Melina or Brittany said something like that. Sorry if I'm yeah. misquoting them, but that's really cool. I know sometimes yeah. like I do because I look at them a lot. You know what I mean? But that's yeah, it's really like cloud watching. It's like cloud watching. Mm -hmm. That's exactly. It's, yeah. That's what I've like, started putting. And I see you little you images because that. that last one, I swear I saw a dragon. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh really? hold it up again. <laughs> Is it the one yeah. she's holding or? <laughs> it, it was the last one that she had. Um, 
that one? one that haunting yeah oh let me look oh my god it's like cloud watching it is this is so much fun <laughs> welcome <Sounds> viewers <laughs> enjoy us for this so exercise where we where we stick our noses up to our webcams to look i could totally see there being a dragon in there now i'm gonna have to uh, my my hob my uh evening is planned when we're done here i'll just um scroll through all your images and zoom in <laughs> i have I have kind of thought that it has that feel. What are those paintings called that were so big in the 90s where, like, you relaxed? Uh, yeah, oh, uh, oh, I know what you're talking about. Um, Mirage or... What did they that. call the magic eye, right? Thank was you. It the magic yes. eye paintings yes. where... Oh, like the hologram. Yeah. And you, mm -hmm. yeah, you have to relax right. your eyes and then you see a different picture right. in it. Yeah, yeah. I was just yeah. telling my mom about those today oh. because it's in the calendar that she got me. Oh, it was, hurting. Oh. <laughs> it was like this is hurting my eyes. <laughs> what is it? What? Just tell me what it is behind it. That's, That's funny. So funny. That reminds me. There's an episode of Seinfeld. I don't know if either of you are familiar, but there's yeah. an episode where Elaine's boss gets, he's like a really rich guy and she's just like sort of his right hand man. And he mm -hmm. gets a magic eye painting and it like ends up ruining some business deal or something. Cause he can't look away. And <laughs> I think I first. remember that back in yeah. the nineties. It's so funny. <laughs> this one says, start as you mean to go on. And that's actually a Coldplay lyric. But, you know, I, I also like to choose things that someone else might have said. You know, it's mm -hmm. Chris Martin said it, but I've heard that before, I think. Yeah, that's a great uh, saying and sentiment. Yes, I think so, too. It, you know, it's a great reminder again. And it's a gentle reminder. I don't like, like you said, like we're not live, laugh, loving. We're, yeah. <laughs> We're a little more nice, uh, subtle stuff in there. Subtle, yes. I can have um, that on my ceiling. Seriously. Mm, that would be neat, huh? Oh, wow. I wonder. Yeah, it would be really cool. I'm like, I'm looking at my ceiling. I could put a wall splat up there. <laughs> That would be cool. You love, know, one of those. Just to like yeah. lay in bed and have something mm -hmm. to get on your ceiling. That, that would mm -hmm. be nice. Yeah. So I have paintings to share mm -hmm. on the screen, but just very quickly so you can sort of get maybe a more well-rounded idea of like me and who what I care about. This is just mm -hmm. my latest scene and mm -hmm. I'll just flip through it really quick. And I just think you guys would like it because it's a lot about um, everything we've talked about already, but then also um, how capitalism needs to be destroyed or it needs to be reworked or, mm -hmm. you know, we need to take power back from the corporations. If we're going to be a capitalist society, we shouldn't be run by five big corporations. And I don't think that that's even a point that anyone could argue. And if they would, right. I would say, you know, let's talk about it because. Yeah, I don't think so, there's too many people, no matter what side they're on, who want that scenario. Yeah, exactly. So just these are collages that sort of paint that picture of how um, advertisements are just so in our face and um, inescapable. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's been easier, actually, with the internet to escape ads. True. But for the average consumer, I'm not necessarily the average consumer. So right. does that make sense? You know, it's like, yeah. me, I'm thinking, not that I'm any better than anyone or that I consume in a better way or anything, just that we need to consciously consume images in the same way that we consciously consume food. Mm -hmm. and content and like so yeah and it's not like yeah. a better or worse it's like no. unless you are consciously making the effort to do that then you're going to see a lot of it that's exactly you know what I mean. and whether and you're online or whether you're watching even just youtube like it doesn't matter it'll yes. find you you need to exactly and if you're not yeah. conscious of it it can sway you and make decisions for you what you think is right or wrong and mm -hmm. what you want to buy and mm -hmm. let's let's stop that in its tracks and let's realize what's happening and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i don't know if you can get a very good idea of what it's about without reading it but i just thought it was worth it to show and absolutely kind of, you know no, i love to see I oh also, yeah 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 i get what you're going for i love this 
Um, I have a, well, one of my best friends, uh, she's a collage artist too. I'll have to send you a couple of her pieces because you'd probably find it interesting. But um, yes. I've seen a lot of collage and I, I love the intricacy and layering and time and thought that goes into it to produce yeah, something that's so get, meaningful. Yeah, you can put a lot in where, where you know, um, in a different way, you know, by layering and sort of pulling an idea together from other people's images, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Just kind of like, you know, we're ignoring poverty and we're ignoring health mm. issues for money and for profits. And, mm -hmm. you know, if it's not us doing it and working for the corporations, we're certainly right there participating in our own way. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Yeah, hold it up. <laughs> we're, we're, like, <laughs> we're gonna jump through the computer soon. It's really funny. <laughs> And Watch Serafina you know, and Andrea do the pigeon dance. <laughs> and I'm so sorry about my nails. Every time I paint my nails, they last about two days. And then, you know. It's so funny you say that because I just painted mine today for the first time in ages. Yeah, I am. Um, I've given up on painted mine. I, I Ooh, those are my, good, though. Oh, yeah, she got I a sponsor. Really got it. I got <laughs> a sponsor for my nails. Polish Beauty. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Polish Beauty. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Just wanted to show you just so that you could see that. Yeah, I love it. Uh, I, and so um, for people to purchase that, is is there like a um, like a bound I copies think, they can get? Or yeah, like, I mean, I, I should really list them uh, um, in my shop. Mm -hmm. I don't have them listed right now, but if anyone gotcha. wanted me to print them off a copy, I could certainly do that because I'm lucky enough to have a scanner and printer here. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's really cool. Don't worry. You'll come back. There you go. <laughs> um, yes. And if you need any help figuring out how to screen share, just um, call 1-800-ZOOM-HELP. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is great. So people can really see it. Uh, right on the screen oh i love it i'm trying to um yeah okay so is go. this like postcard size that one is that is um one corner of a painting that i sold and now i'm selling it as a print so you can oh. find this one as a print and this is the bottom uh sort of right corner of it mm -hmm. And I love that one so, so much. In fact, it's, it's one of my beautiful. Episodes. Thank you so much. There's a face behind. I see it. I see it. I There's see a face it. behind it. Mm -hmm. You Is see it. it? Like, see yeah. It, um, yeah. Sort of right in the lower middle. Like yeah. a chin. Mm -hmm. and a, a, yes. Wow, Serafina. Yeah. Yep. Wow. I see it too. I see it. I really do. That's incredible. Wow. I'm so excited to look more at that. Is this next one showing up for you guys? Yes. Yeah, I can see it's it. It's beautiful. Oh, I like the layers. <laughs> Thank the you layers so much. I have videos up too if people are interested to like see how. I do a few different techniques to get these paintings. Um, I think this one was mostly sponge. But yeah, I love this one. So it's beautiful. Awesome. The thing mm -hmm. that's amazing about them, I mean, other than, you know, your concept and that they're intuitive and all of that, but Diana, like, I think so many people would look at these and swear they were pictures from the Hubble telescope or something. You know what I mean? Like they would, unless they were an astronomer, you know, and could really tell the difference because they, so they much. do, they look so <laughs> true to I life. Do, like, I'm not copying it from a picture. Like I just, yeah. not, that I, not that I think it looks like picture perfect or anything, mm -hmm, or, mm -hmm. but I do see how it, it does resemble something you might see in a national geographic or yeah. something real, you know? Yeah. And, it does. It doesn't even look, yeah, it doesn't look like a painting so much. It looks like a Thank photograph you. and it's amazing. Thank you so, so I much. I would love a blanket. <laughs> I oh. would like them. I would like, I would love Oh, like a yeah. A we're, watch, we're blanket. like, <laughs> we're going to get oh. her on uh, Redbubble. <laughs> 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 I think that that's 
it, you know, there's so <clears throat> many websites that do things like that, and it, and mm -hmm. they all have mixed reviews. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That is that's absolutely the next step for me is um sort of figuring out which website I'm gonna trust to make stuff like that. You know. Yeah, I think it would be really popular. Uh, mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, and, you know, maybe talk to like some of the other people who are already doing that and see how they feel about the idea. different platforms. Yeah. I always think word of mouth is better than like 4 million Yelp reviews or because <laughs> then I you can ask that. them, how did this exactly. work for you? What was it like? Yes. Um, here is, I'm just trying to find good pictures that I can share. Just bear with me for one more second. Take your time. Thank you so much. Who knew that I had almost 12,000 pictures on this phone? And Wow. <laughs> who knew a phone <laughs> could hold that many pictures? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Although, you know, I have all kinds of, like, recordings and things, audio yeah. and video episodes. It's so pretty amazing. Yeah, I have to be constantly deleting. <laughs> well, here's at least a couple more. This one I love. It oh, like that's gorgeous. I really like to think when I'm making them that like I'm in a spaceship and not really like I'm obviously not like I'm in a spaceship now, but like it sort of feels that way when you're looking at it, like you're actually traveling through space. And so that's how I try to look at it when I'm painting it. And I feel like that helps bring that like realism, you know. Am I the only one who sees a woman <laughs> dancing in a... An evening gown that is no, like. I see it. I, you see oh it? God. You I, see wow. it? I see it. <gasps> but she's not alone. There's somebody else behind her. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. You could just wow. see the shadow of the other person. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, I'll have to look at this more, or maybe you guys could like draw over it if you're bored. And, and yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will do that to kind of show <clears throat> you what we're seeing that is Ooh, where please. Seraphina and I are so uh, interesting that way. <laughs> I love it so I much. Mean, um, that is gorgeous. Thank you so mm. much. And then this one I just sent off today and I did have exactly what oh. Seraphina was talking about where I was like, I do not want to let this guy go. <laughs> I love this. That one. <laughs> is beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. I really enjoyed making this one too. That I'm telling really you, it's gorgeous. like watching clouds. It and really it, it, that's how it feels when I make them. And it almost just feels like this is crazy. Like I enjoy this so much. It's not even right to like enjoy something. <laughs> there's, a, there's, so a, there's a heart shaped, um, there's a heart shaped uh, solar system right there. Look, there's three. Ooh. Did you see it? There's, 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 it? there's a few, uh, there's a few oh. suns that make a heart shape. Oh, you know what? I might. I might. In the on the right side and in the middle. Maybe I'll have to look mm. at it. I wish I'm on you had phone. a pen. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? We need to be able to draw your images. <laughs> yeah. The uh, the suns make like a little they make a heart, a lit up heart. It's so cool. Ooh. Oh. Now I wish it was still here so I could just it's stare at in, it. Okay, so it's at this is my right, this is my left. Mm -hmm. And it's in the left. But I don't know if your right and my left are the same rights and lefts. Oh, you know what? I think like black, um, like the dark space is what's making the heart. Is that what you mean? Mm -hmm. No, it's in the cloud. Oh, is it at the top left? Yes, it's at the top. Okay. Yeah, I see that. I love Aww. that song. I really enjoyed making this one and it, it, I mean, they all do. And this is just one of the latest ones I made. So I guess maybe that's why. I but there's more. There's the dark one underneath, right? There's the dark. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yes. There's a bunch <laughs> of hearts. It's very that. interesting. All these different hearts that jump wow. out How about of this that? one. How funny. Wow. Um, <clears throat> you know, I wanted to say, uh, Diana, that um, I took low dose, very, very low dose. I used to call it chemo light because it was for immune suppression. And I took that every week for six years. Oh my and God. it was a long, long six years. Oh um, <laughs> but the reason I mention it is um, 
you know, Serafina was talking about how there's always healing conversations and that people seem to just um, show up and be here when it's just the right time. And my half of that at the moment is that um, I just wanted to tell you how much uh, love and respect and consideration and appreciation I have for you and your son and the experience yeah. that you went through. Um, it was interesting when I was going through that experience myself because you know, people hear the word chemo and they all want to make a big deal out of it and feel sorry for you. And it's like, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. But, mm -hmm. um, and then they'll say things like, you know, thoughts and prayers. I know God's going to heal you and all that. And not that there's anything wrong with that either necessarily, but I will tell you where I'm going with it in a minute. Uh, I, when I found out that the amount that they were giving me every week, was like uh, one tenth to one thirtieth of the amount that they give people for can you know various mm -hmm. treatment for cancers and things, mm -hmm. leukemia and whatnot. I I was it got better after the first year and a half, but I was so miserable initially, and yeah. all I could think every week was I cannot imagine a child feeling worse than I do right now, you know? And so, um, like two things happened out of that one, it always kept me going and never made me whine about it. You know, mm -hmm. I always kept that in perspective that there were people out there and granted, you know, do it every week for six years. It's like a little different, but, uh, that like I could make it, I would be fine you know, and, um, if I ever started to feel sorry my, for myself, I would remind myself that somewhere there were children and their mothers, especially who were trying to hold them and help them through that and through, through deep suffering. And then the other thing that came out of it is I got kind of, um, downright rude sometimes about the, you know, God will save you type of thing that would come at me sometimes because I would say, Oh, so I'm more important than the million other kids who are fighting for their life right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Cause it, it always would make me feel like, why, you know what I mean? <laughs> why, yeah. why am I going to be saved and somebody else is it? You know what I mean? Just because, yeah if you want to pray for somebody and that was literally what I started saying after the first couple of years is I would tell people, thank you. I appreciate that. But if you want to pray for someone, please pray for the children who are going through much worse treatment than I am. So I am, it really, it fills my heart to see Jay healthy and happy and both of you <laughs> healing from that whole entire experience. I know that, um, it must have been monumentally difficult while you were going through it, but I'm sure that there was a lot of growth that came out of it that other people yeah. are never going to have because they haven't exactly. had to face that. And I always felt that way too, like just being there at the hospital, you know, we only had to spend the night a few times and that was because of surgery or because a more intense chemo treatment. And we were lucky enough to only do it a few times. And there were some kids who were set up shop there for indefinite mm -hmm. amounts of time. Mm -hmm. And it just puts it in so much perspective. And, and like you said, you have no idea why you get to be the one who. Yeah. 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 So I just wanted to share that with now. you. I just well, wanted to share that with you because, um, I'm so happy that he, you know, got better. I know. Thank you so much. I'll You're have welcome. to share that with him. He might, he's sitting at the top of the stairs. Maybe he can hear. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I thought. That's also why I've been watching my filthy mouth. <laughs> He's, therapy he's is good. laughing because it's like you're the reason we can't put promos on Instagram and Facebook. <laughs> I just wanted to if we have time just oh share. yeah we have all the time a couple, oh good good yeah. um because I remember um that you said there was one that you liked a lot and I wanted to share that one before I forgot um this was like a couple months ago when I had posted in the group and mm -hmm. I remember you, you saying that you really liked this specific one and now we can talk about it. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> so this one, shout out to my boy, Tommy, Tom York. Oh. I don't know 
know if you guys have heard the song um i'm a very rude person it's his solo stuff mm -hmm. um if you haven't heard it definitely run don't walk when we're done to listen to it because it's one of my favorite songs to dance to in the whole world and this one just says I have to destroy to create and it's just such a badass reminder like it's mm -hmm. okay that things end it's okay that you have to destroy like sometimes I have to start over with a painting because it just didn't happen for that one you know and yeah. I do sometimes I'm like gosh like I wish I hadn't spent time on something that I have to destroy but sometimes that is just how it goes and that's totally fine and also yes. it's a cool part of it it's a it's like this is just what life is like mm -hmm. you have to you know clean your house before you have a party and you have to destroy your house to have that party and i don't know you know it's a it's that ever the ouroboros the cycle of birth yeah. and death and birth and death and birth and death yes. and and i uh sometimes like you're saying you know we get so hard on ourselves or stuck on the idea that we have to complete a thing or we have to finish it or we have to like yeah you know stay in a relationship or stay in a yes. job or whatever exactly. it is instead yes. of being willing to go <laughs> all right i don't know maybe what i'm creating but i know that whatever this is right now it can't last it needs to go <laughs> Exactly. It needs to be destroyed so that I can create yes. something new. That's yeah. exactly right. Yes. And also that's kind of what the past couple of years was about. It's just like mm -hmm. um, dismantling so many things. Personally, this is just for me, but I'm sure a lot of other people felt the same way. Like finally a chance to destroy a lot of constructs that we grew up with and that mm -hmm. did not serve us and never did. And we kind of had time to like deconstruct them and that's absolutely true and definitely not just you i mean the whole world has had a collective process of this every country has had a process of this every person i think i mean even people who maybe might seem like uh you know they're not woo at all they're not aware of higher consciousness or any of those things even in just their daily life they had to make changes i mean i yes, find exactly. me the person who didn't have to change anything you know what yeah, i mean exactly. <laughs> like yes, they exactly. don't exist yeah that's right oh yes, yes exactly then this one is one of my absolute favorites it says you forget so easy and i think that that's pretty self-explanatory i know for myself like you know i spend as much time as i can um trying to be mindful and um present and like remember all the good stuff you know and mm -hmm. not fall back into like lack programming and and this is just like the perfect reminder. First of all, it's from the most beautiful song, uh, You and Whose Army by Radiohead. And, but it stands alone completely. And it's just like, it's a gentle reminder. It almost feels like something, you know, your guides would say or something like, you know, it's just, like you just forgot, like, it's okay. You, it's right there still. You just forgot, you know. This one's hanging in my, uh, hallway upstairs and I just love it so much. It's beautiful. I really love this one too. And I, I like that idea of you forget so easy because it's, um, for me, like it's a double, it's the, a polarity of reminders, you that's know? That's right. Yes. That's exactly what I'm saying. Reminding you that it's yeah. easy to release. Yeah, but also that it's so easy to, for you to forget yourself sometimes. Exactly, and, yep. forget your actual place and forget how incredible and um, just eternal we are, and all the magic mm -hmm. inside of us. It's really easy to forget, and that's okay. That's like that's what it is. That's what we're trying to do, and it's not going to stop. It's just gonna. We're just gonna have to keep reminding ourselves of all these things, and and it's a gift to be where we are. Mm, so beautiful. I love it. Uh, oh, <laughs> and this one is just one of my favorites. I just love it. It's a Rufus Wainwright lyric, but it really stands alone and um, says, I was hoping the train was my big number. And he's talking about like being alone and traveling. And um, like I said, I think it can mean whatever you want it to mean. Mm -hmm. you know? 
there's a lot of things that you wish would happen and and that, that, that it doesn't happen but there's so much beauty in that too and this is what it is to be alive mm-hmm. being a little bit sad <laughs> yeah that ennui and you know it's a good reminder that whenever th- it's not your number right yeah that that means better. the next thing exactly the next thing yes. is going to be your number and if you had taken or received whatever that is then you might have missed out on the next thing so exactly. yes. i love it and just the what a beautiful <laughs> i want to dive in <laughs> i know me too so gorgeous thank you so so much i don't mean to be like oh i love it <laughs> i really do. no you should love it i mean that's I know there are some artists who have like love hate relationships with their work, but I think it's fabulous that you love it. Thank you so much. I appreciate You're that. So much. I think that that's exactly right. I mean, we've had enough of putting ourselves under stuff. Like let's, we all have gifts and they're all beautiful. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let everybody shine. Do you have any final thoughts or questions before we ease our way out of here, Serafina? Um, it's, it's just to, just to tell you that, uh, this was the time and place. <laughs> this Thank was you the so right, much. this was the time and place. Keep going. Your work you. is beautiful. It's perfect. It <sighs> is, it's therapy. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much, Serafina. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I could, I, love I could it. sit and watch that and get so much oh. out of it, like every time. Wow. Thank you so much. That means the world to me. And that's what I hope for. And that's why I do it because that's how it feels to me. You know, I feel like that's why they're all hanging on my walls because I get <laughs> so much out of them. They bring me so much happiness mm-hmm. and you know, like I said at the beginning, like grounding is really important. And yeah, we know that we need to ground a little bit every day. And, you know, but it's also important to dream and to let your mind wander and have big ideas and Mm -hmm. um, be like in awe. You know, I think that that's a big thing for me too, is just like, I'm in awe of all the little things. And this really helps me get that across, I think. Yeah, it does come across. And you know what's amazing about it? I mean, there's a lot. (laughs) We're we're gushing, but it's because it's wonderful. I mean, I I truly love your work. That's why I asked you to come on. And all of the side benefits of all the healing conversation was just a, a bonus. But, you know, the position, even though we know the universe is expanding from our perspective, when we look through telescopes and all of those things, unless we take snapshots every day over a period of months or years, you don't actually see that movement. Mm-hmm. Um, and things are pretty stationary from our perspective. But yeah. there is something about looking at your your paintings of space and the way you present it that they move like I can see movement and feel movement in them. I, it's hard for me to describe. I I don't know. Seraphine is nodding her head. So I think she gets what I mean, but it's like, I I stare at it and I get lost in it. Yes. I get on a journey mm -hmm. from your spaceship. Like you're sort of, again, it's like sort of corny to say that maybe, but I, I very much know what you mean because that's how I feel. I feel like you're in it. You're like you're on a mm-hmm. rally. Like, yeah, and I'm watching everything. Just yeah, it's it's wild. It's Thank you. really wild. And I think it's because you know you hear a lot of people saying like, "Why do we need to go to space? Like, why would we go back to the moon? Why go to Mars? Like, because like we are not just like um, we're participants. Like we are participants in the universe." And yes, we're stuck on Earth, but we're not stuck on Earth if you think mm-hmm. about it, because we have these incredible minds and spirits that like let us fly wherever you mm-hmm. want to go. You can go, mm-hmm. you know, even if it's just. And that's what art is, and that's why we need more art and people making their art. And and I think that as time goes on, hopefully, people will be more open to like space being like you said. It's like. You can only see a few stars when you look up. Okay, maybe there's Venus, there's the moon, there's Jupiter, it's a little dot. But this brings you there. It like brings mm-hmm. you out into space, opens up your mind to what might be there, 
what might not be there. Like it's a journey and we're all on it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I want um, to listen. I'm looking at it and I want to listen. Like what is, what is, what is I'm going in, but what am I getting back? You know what mm -hmm, I mean? Cause mm -hmm. I want to listen as well. Just like, yeah. yeah. I, they're very meditative. Yes. I mean, I can see them being, mm -hmm. and I'll definitely, uh, I want to think about it will, it will present itself what it is that I need to commission you to put on there and what I want to get, but it will, Honestly, but I, it will, it'll, yeah, it'll be but, like, that's it. I need that's to look it. That's everywhere. what I want. Yeah. Um, but they're so meditative because you can really almost use it like a personal, like a way to look into yourself because you look into it and then stuff is coming back to you. Yes. It's really oh, beautiful. Thank you. It's so therapy. Much. It's yes, therapy. exactly. <laughs> it's like a window. It's like a window, yes. you know, um, mm -hmm. that's what I've been saying too. like have fun space gazing with it because you're going to be looking at it and you're going to want to keep looking like you would out the window, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, yeah. Thank you so I much. I really love that. Um, so do you have any final thoughts or uh, do you just want to tell the viewers where they can find you and yeah, your beautiful absolutely. work? Thank you so much. Yeah. Like I said, I need to work on expanding my reach, but right now I am on Instagram and it is just like it sounds space out studio with an underscore after that. And then on Etsy, it's just space out studio. No, fantastic. Space out studio. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, we will have that contact info in the show notes. And then, yeah. uh, like I said, send me, uh, some images, um, that you'd like yeah. us to put with all the promo stuff and we'll do that so that people can uh, right. enjoy it and look at it themselves. Um, so glad you were able to come on. This was even better than I knew it was going to be. And yeah. we're very grateful Yay. to you. <laughs> uh, Serafina. Oh, so you guys, you made my month. You made my new year. I'm Aww. thrilled to be here, honestly. And, and you're both people who I've known about now for at least a year and have been sort of absorbing your content individually. And, and now I know about this podcast more and you're both so wonderful. And, and thank you for inviting me in. And I look oh. forward to connecting more. <laughs> thank you, Diana. Thank you. That is so sweet. Um, we really appreciate it. I know I do. I know Serafina does. Uh, Serafina, where can everyone find you? They can find me on Instagram and Facebook as Serafina Blackman. You can find my podcast on uh, all the streaming apps, uh, Fraggle-ing with Serafina. And my tarot channel here on YouTube, Serafina Tarot. Uh, you can find me everywhere at Grooving Goddess. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok is Grooving Goddess. But um, on TikTok, don't go there because I just recently started dancing like a, a sexy goddess on there because my guides are forcing me to do it. And then I had some other people oh, get in on it who were like, you really, you should do it if they're telling you to do it. So now I'm doing it. Uh, something cool. about releasing the goddess energy or something. Nothing's um, better than dancing. <laughs> <laughs> like I need to release more, right? Um, <laughs> I'm just going to wait for the effects. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, <laughs> the effects will be here tomorrow night or Friday. <laughs> uh, I... I'm in the process of maybe having a, a boyfriend uh, after quite a and long time girl. of being on my own. Yep. <laughs> I'm open to. <laughs> oh my goodness. But anyway, uh, and then Grooving Goddess podcast. Um, <clears throat> and then you can find uh, us, of course, on YouTube where you're watching this right now. And we also have an Instagram meow podcast. And then we have a, a Gmail as well. If you'd like to send us a message, um, leave us comments, like, subscribe, set your alarms. We put up a notice about the premiere of episodes. And the purpose for that is because when you hit that little alarm bell and set a reminder for the premiere, it helps our own overall views and our exposure and gets the word out and um, please go follow Diana and her beautiful art and um, 
you know, get the word out about our podcast if you enjoy it, folks. Uh, Instagram has this great option now where you can actually share a link. So you can share this on your story if you enjoyed it and share it with uh, your your friends and loved ones. Uh, so Meow Podcast, it's not a vibe. It's a frequency. <laughs>